get me on the court and I'm trouble. Last week, fucked around and got a triple double. This is Mark Belton, Super Training TV, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. Answering more questions today for the Power Project and also addressing a big issue with Jesse Burdick's return to the Power Project. The question for today is about hammy cramps, and I figure I might as well just talk about cramps in general and how to avoid them. The best way to avoid them is to stay hydrated, um, but not just with water. Actually, there's been studies that show that water can actually cause dehydration. I know, sounds weird, sounds strange, but those of you that drink a lot of water and still get cramps might know what I'm talking about. Water can uh, pull electrolytes, uh, vitamins, minerals, etc. <clears throat> out of your system and therefore make you dehydrated and therefore cause muscle spasms, cramps, and what have you. Now a hamstring cramp is a little bit more specific. You're talking about a hamstring cramp after doing uh, uh, le tra leg training. <clears throat> now this could just simply be you have uh, some soft tissue balled up that you need to address, you need to get to with a lacrosse ball, a soft ball, you need to stick some sort of ball in there or uh, maybe even a kettlebell, perhaps sit on a kettlebell and try to rub out rub out the area uh, that is in question, the area that's bothering you. Uh, foam rolling can sometimes be effective. In my opinion, you can't get enough pressure on a foam roller. I like to do my, my stuff uh, usually standing up is a little bit more effective or sitting on a softball or some sort of ball on a bench, uh, kettlebell again, and just trying to rub the, uh, the area and trying to uh, get rid of whatever, whatever that is, that little gnome that's in there. Uh, Kelly's Tourette a lot of times refers to these as, uh, as kind of soft, soft tissue uh, injuries um, and it's just the area is just kind of knotted up and it's something that you need to take care of. But back to cramps in general, um, get yourself a product called Emergency, Emergen C, uh, loaded with vi vitamin C, a lot of electrolytes, very effective. Uh, Gatorade can sometimes uh, be effective in that sense as well, has some salt, potassium and some other things in there that uh, can assist you in avoiding cramps, but I would suggest um, emergency, uh, also uh, what the hell is the other stuff called, noon, N-U-U-N, uh, noon I think is superior to emergency, uh, it only has one gram of sugar uh, per tablet, and uh, it's been used by cyclists and uh, endurance athletes for long, for um, for many years and it's been very effective so uh, that's another product you're going to want to look into they are expensive but hey if you don't want to deal with uh, annoying cramps that feel like they're going to blow the muscles off then uh, that would be the way to go um, those are my main suggestions try to keep yourself hydrated throughout the day make sure you're getting enough water in um, but don't just drink water make sure you're getting in uh, some electrolytes if you're not eating a lot of carbohydrates uh, make sure you're balancing that out by getting in some sort of uh, some version of a fruit or vegetable of some kind um, that'll also help kind of balance you out. Um, so now on to Jesse Burdick. Jesse Burdick uh, feels that he was e eliminated um, or put on probation from the Power Project uh, due to the fact that he was caught doing concentration curls. <clears throat> it's not the fact that he was caught doing concentration curls, it was the manner in which he was doing them. It's almost like when he's doing concentration curls, he has ADD or a lack of concentration. He's not supinating at the top. And these non-supinated suckers aren't going to get their supper. <clears throat> How are you going to get paid in this world if you don't have peaks on your biceps? How are you supposed to make large sums of money, large, large lumps of money, uh, without large lumps on your biceps? So that was one of the main reasons I just kind of felt... Jesse Burdick, you know, was no longer a baller. I felt that he wasn't playing the game properly. And without proper supination, we all know that the peaks on his biceps are going to be lacking and lackluster. Um, also, he's been slacking on the tanning. Uh, that's a huge factor as well. That's something that we got to still look into because I don't know what we're going to do about that. Um, and then also, uh, there's been... A few other problems with him. Body fat has escalated, escalade did up above 15%. Um, that's disgusting. We got to figure out a couple other things too. Um, see, now he thinks it's the concentration curls. I actually use the concentration curl um, 
the uh, I use a concentration curl more as an excuse to uh, fire him and put him on probation from the power project. Um, but he, you know, again, he wasn't supinating at the top. You guys all understand what that means. He wasn't turning the palm over. He's not getting that full peak. He's not getting that full static contraction at the top. He, and you could tell when he's doing them, he's just not visualizing. Um, maybe we need to get this guy on some Adderall when he's doing his concentration curls. Maybe he can concentrate on his concentration curls a little bit better with some Adderall. Um, but, you know, there's one more thing. And a lot of you guys have probably noticed this, that Jesse Burdick, you know, he should probably keep some sort of sunglasses on or something when he's doing the power project because he always looks high as a kite. He's like, kind of like this. This is Jesse Burdick, powerwad.com. And it just looks like, you know, he just did some bong rips or something like that. So that's something that we're going to look into addressing as well. I'm also sorry that he videos his... Um, videos himself with his sock or a sandwich as some of you have said rather than using an actual camera but that's something we're trying to remedy as well there's no easy fix to it I know some of you have mentioned uh, box drop or drop box or whatever the hell it's called uh, but that thing's stupid doesn't work ineffective so anybody else has any suggestions out there on how to send high quality videos through the camera or through your camera phone uh, let us know because there, we haven't found a good solution to it yet other than just shooting short videos. Strength is never a weakness, and that is it from supertraining.tv. Look for more Jesse Burdick coming soon, later. What's up, everybody? Jesse Burdick here for PowerWad.com, and proudly back for the Power Project. Got a couple of questions to address here. Uh, people are wondering about my absence. I've been gone for about three months. Um, I'm going to talk about that real quick. Can't do too much. There's still a bunch of lawyers involved. But Mark's allowed me to go ahead and say a little bit of something here. <clears throat> I'm not really proud of this. But about two and a half months ago, um, three and a half months ago, excuse me, uh, Mark found some uh, video and photographic evidence of um, me doing some concentration curls, um, not twisting at the top and not holding for a contraction at the top. Um, I also let my body fat drift over 15%. And those are just no-nos at Team Super Training. Um, I've been put on probation for about three months. Uh, I am, you know, I've gone through uh, everything that I've been asked to do here. Um, and I'm in a probation period of about three months. Um, uh, it'll be up uh, in, in a couple months here. I'm very, very happy to be back. So feel free to go ahead and shoot any more questions that you have. Power Project Army at yahoo.com. Keep those questions rolling for the best thing out there, the best information. Strength is never a weakness. Team Super Chain, thank you so much. Proudly sponsored by The Power Magazine and The Slingshot. How much you bench.net.